In today's topic, let's talk about Russia's most advanced military super technologies that you can't even imagine. If you want to understand Russian military capabilities, you better watch this super advanced military technologies. And with that said, brace yourself to witness Russian supersonic missiles, nuclear forces and most unbelievable military equipment you can't believe. But before that, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to see the latest updates of our channel. Today, let's talk about Russia's most advanced military super technologies that you can't even imagine. And without further ado, let's begin with our number one. Number one is Russia tests supersonic anti-ship missiles. Russia showcased its military might by testing firing anti-ship Onyx missiles from a mobile defense system in the Arctic. The launch came from a Bastion mobile coastal defense system. The supersonic missile uses a combination of solid fuel rocket booster and liquid fuel jet engine. Moscow renewed interest in the Arctic with the discovery of untapped oil and natural gas reserves and the desire to secure access to the Northern Sea Route, a strategic trade artery that has the potential to reroute east-west global trade flows. A military doctrine signed by President Vladimir Putin in 2014 entrusts Russia's armed forces with maintaining the country's strategic interests in the Arctic. Number 2 is, Russia unveils 1,500 miles per hour AI stealth fighter jet. Experts said the plane, which was unveiled at an aviation show in Zhukovsky, near Moscow, was designed to rival America's F-35 fighter. It appears similar in design to Lockheed's F-35 series, which the Royal Navy has brought for its two new aircraft carriers, and China's J-31 stealth jet. A delighted-looking Vladimir Putin was seen at an air show inspecting the warplane that can fly at twice the speed of sound, plus use artificial intelligence capability to hunt out targets. Number 3 is Russia tests nuclear forces in military exercises. Russia's military conducted sweeping drills of its strategic nuclear forces that featured several practice missiles launches. The Defense Ministry said in a statement that the maneuvers included the test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Karelia nuclear submarine in the Barents Sea. As part of the drills, a ground-based intercontinental ballistic missile was also launched from the Plesetsk facility in northwestern Russia, and two 160 and two 95 strategic bombers fired cruise missiles and test targets. Number 4 is Russian nuclear submarine test fired of four ballistic missiles. Russian nuclear-powered submarine successfully test-fired four intercontinental ballistic missiles, the Navy said. The Navy said the submarine after the medieval prince who founded Moscow launched the Bulava missiles in a single salvo from a submerged position in the White Sea. 
The Mach warheads the missile carried reached their practice targets on the opposite side of Russia, the Kura shooting range on the far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula. The Bulava has been commissioned by the Russian Navy after a long cycle of development. Russian officials said the missile has quicker start than its predecessors, helping it dodge missile defenses. Number 5 is Russia warships fire missiles near Japan. Russia has staged a military show of strength by firing missiles off its warships near Japan after Tokyo claimed sovereignty over the disputed Kuril Islands. The Kuril archipelago was grabbed by Stalin at the end of the Second World War, but Japan refuses to accept Moscow's jurisdiction. Video has emerged of Russia's Pacific Fleet highlighting its firepower in the Sea of Japan, a display seen by some as a welcome message for the new Japanese leader. They unleashed a battery from their fort, Osa and Kinjal missile systems at high-speed aerial targets, reported the fleet's press office. Number 6 is India to receive first batch of Russian's S-400 missiles. Russia has begun shipping the S-400 air defense systems to India ahead of schedule and will send specialists to help with the induction of the weapon, the head of state arms exporter Russell Boron Exports said. The first regiment of S-400 systems will be delivered to India and Russian experts will help with the induction of the weapons in 2022. So, I hope you found this video wonderful. And if you did, be sure to like this video and share this with other people. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.